You made the decision to come out publicly as gay during an interview with TMZ. What led you to making that decision? Uh, I was just tired of living a lie for so long, 30 years of my life. And uh, I wanted to just, at the end of the day, live my life like any other normal couple. And at the time I was living in Miami uh, with my boyfriend. I hate using the word partner, but with my boyfriend. And I was tired of being affectionate behind closed doors and then being out in public like, you know, we're just boys, you know? I was tired of it. And him and I became very close. And I wanted to bring him to a lot of my sporting events. So I said enough was enough. Uh, so when I came out publicly to TMZ, it, it was the right place, right time. And it was the best decision I ever made. And when I did, of all people that contacted me was Cher. So when I came out, I didn't think it was a big deal. But when she contacted me and said because of my story, um, I was able to help one of her friends come out to their family. And she thanked me. That's when I realized that my story was a big fucking deal. 100%. Did WWE know you were going to do it? No, no. I mean, it's something that I was probably maybe added on by someone. My family knew two years before I came out publicly. Uh, and I'm glad they knew because they were my support system. If I didn't have them, you know, who knows? So now my fight is a lot more bigger than in the ring. It's outside of the ring fighting bigotry and hatred. Were you surprised by the amount of press coverage it revealed? Um, it was a big deal because at the time Jason Collins had came out. So, you know, it, it made major news. Major news in an industry that's very masculine. Um, now it's helped out a lot of um, LGBT people in wrestling because uh, because of my story and being the first, I've been able to pave the way for other LGBT athletes to come out and live their life authentically and honestly. So, you know, being the first is a big deal. Any negative reactions in the locker room from my native talent? No, nothing to my face. More so on social media. Right. More on, so on social media. But what I tried to focus on more uh, was the people that showed love for me because I can't change anyone's perception of me. I can only just be me, you know? And I always say coming out is a, every day is a coming out experience, every day, because you meet someone, they look at you, they, um, uh, you exchange names, they immediately Google you, and the first thing that pops up on me is first openly gay wrestler. So f from that moment, they can be like, oh man, this, this is a good dude, or, uh, oh, no, we don't like this guy, so, right. you know, you can't make everyone happy. How did you wind up on Ellen? Ellen. Uh, my management team uh, at Burke Management um, helped me get Ellen to tell my story to her, and I, I was uh, thrilled by the opportunity because Ellen is an OG in the entertainment business. She's paved the way for guys like me to live their life and to be confident. So when I got the opportunity to do her, I jumped on it. And um, hopefully moving forward, I can uh, uh, attend her show again because it's been a while. So I can give her an update on my whole YouTube that I just launched that I'm, ex I'm excited to be working on outside of WWE because when you're with WWE, you're under an exclusive contract. So you need permission to basically wipe your ass. And that's just the bottom line. So now, uh, being an independent contractor and being a free agent, I have the opportunity to do my YouTube and help inspire, motivate, and educate people that are in the LGBT community as well as outside. You want to plug the, the channel? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I just started my Mr. No Days Off Fred Rossa YouTube channel. The first episode is up now. It, which talks about pride and what pride means to me and about how before I came out I would never attend a pride parade because I always looked down upon the gay community. I was, oh, that's gay, that's gay. But when I myself was living a lie, now that I'm out publicly every year I make it a point to attend a pride parade to show my support 
and, gr and gratitude for people in the LGBT community because you got to give support to, you know, that community because, you know, they're unsure about themselves and they don't know how, if they want to live or not. That's just the bottom line. And we don't want anyone making bad decisions or anything like that. So that's why I always tell people on my social media, if you don't have anyone in your family that supports you, be a part of my family on social media. There's room for everyone at the finish line at the end of the day. WWE never portrayed your character as being gay. Do you feel they missed the opportunity to show a positive gay role model on the programming with you? You know, I would have loved to have and been open to do, doing anything um, that's going to help, help someone. Especially if, you know, they can identify with my story. I have no problem at all uh, displaying that. Because at the end of the day, I want someone to look at me on TV and be like, man, if he can do it, I can do it. And at the end of the day, it's about educating not only our youth, but um, people that, you know, hate on our community. What happened in 2015? I guess you spoke out against WWE running UAE due to the uh, anti-gay sentiment laws. What, what exactly was that? I think anyone would be a little upset if you were put on a tour and then taken off. Um, I was upset that we were going over there to do shows because they don't respect the LGBT community and they don't respect women. Uh, and I said, hashtag millions of dollars. Um, and I said what I said out of being upset. I love this business and I want to be able to see the world, but you know, why are we going over there? But I was upset about it. It is what it is. Did you get a lot of heat from the office or? No, I was just asked to take it down. Okay. And, and I did. Do you think that might have shot yourself in the foot at all? Um, I was upset. So you say some things, you know, and I think I have every right, you know, to say what I said.